I want you guys to take a nice deep breath with me. Ready? Relaxing, right? Though maybe a little bit less relaxing if I tell you that you just breathed in a hundred microscopic creatures. Less relaxing still if I tell you that many of them were shed off the skin of the person sitting next to you. Others are floating by on tiny little flecks of feces and saliva. It's true, but it's nothing new. You guys have been breathing these in your whole life. You've just been ignoring them. But that's about to change. Our homes, our bodies, these are the places we know better than anywhere else. But if we were to look at them with a powerful microscope, suddenly our skin, this theater, the space between you and me right now, would start to look like this. These are bacteria and fungi, the microscopic organisms that cover every single surface we interact with. They're definitely in the house dust in between your toes right now, and they're coating the seats you're sitting in. We are covered in these life forms. About a trillion of them are growing and living inside of you, and we share our homes with 100,000 of these species. Though most of them are too microscopic to see with your naked eye, if you give them a little bit of nutrients and some time to grow, they start to become visible as those cells make billions and billions of copies of themselves. As a microbiologist, I love coming into the lab in the morning and seeing what species grew from something as simple as house dust. I love the orange of one species or the gooey pink of another. I think these are beautiful microorganisms. And I think they're beautiful creatures, not just because of how they look, but because of what they can do. Microorganisms are the world's greatest transformers. In the process of living and eating, they're shaping their environment. They're building things up and breaking things down. As such, each one of them has developed a unique set of skills. Just like some animal species are really good at flying, some microorganism species are very good at swimming. Just like some plant species make the fruits that we love to eat, some microorganism species can make oil, while others can make foods like chocolate and dosa. With so many microorganisms in our world, it's not surprising that we put a lot of these creatures to work helping us with things. In fact, some of our technology comes from these microorganisms. Let's look at a few examples. This is a species I used to work with in the lab. It's white and fluffy, and it lives in the soil, and it's definitely on this carpet right now. It produces antibiotics, the medications we use to kill bacterial infections. You can actually see the antibiotics oozing out the top of it in those droplets right there. If you've ever had an infection that you've treated with some kind of medication, it's likely you owe these creatures a big thank you. Most recently, I've been working with microorganisms that live in the body of our house pests, including wasps. At North Carolina State University, we grew these creamy-colored creatures. This species attracts wasps by making fruity smells. We wanted to see if they could make a smell that was attractive to humans, not just wasps. They can, but there's more. In the process, we discovered that this species, it can make a sour beer, a beer with tart flavors and fruity smells. You can now purchase this microorganism's made beer in the United States, where it's producing beer that's made with wasp-approved flavors. Sometimes it's not just important or useful how a microorganism transforms its environment, but the way it does. Take, for example, this species. It lives in our guts, and it's very good at swimming. You can actually see millions of them swarming together in this video. A group of scientists recently took these species and made a self-healing concrete with them. A concrete that the microorganisms swim through, and as the cracks form, they fill them in. This is a building material for a future ageless city. While some microorganisms are good at building things up, Others are better at breaking things down. The mildews and molds that break down some of our food when we forget about them in the refrigerator, they're also good at breaking down other things, like plastics. Imagine a future where we put these critters to work breaking down our pollution and eating up our plastics. 
Sometimes when I talk to people about working on the microorganisms that live in their homes, they ask me about the microorganisms that make their house dirty. It makes me really sad that microorganisms have such a bad reputation when so many are doing the exact opposite. If you look down at your clothes right now, it's likely that they were cleaned by a detergent that came from this species that lives in your house dust. Turns out some of our best cleaning agents come from microorganisms in our homes. This species here, it lives in our showers. And a group of scientists recently fed it to mice. Don't worry, the mice didn't get sick. In fact, they got really relaxed. And then they were able to do mazes faster. By drinking this microorganism, their brains got smarter and less fearful. Right now, you might be in the audience and afraid of microorganisms and germs, and that's fine, because in the future, there might be a microbial cure for that. With all the microorganisms in our environment, it seems that we're limited not by what they can do, but what we dream they can do. As a last example, I want to tell you about this species that lives in some of the saltiest areas in the world. Underneath that beautiful red exterior, it has a unique immune system. Just like us, it has to fight off viruses, kind of like colds and flus. Unlike us, it has a unique immune system. It has these molecular scissors that let it snip out bits of harmful virus DNA, and they allow us to snip out any bits of DNA we choose, even human DNA. This technology is called CRISPR technology, and it allows us to modify the genetics of our own species. Newspapers recently heralded this CRISPR technology as the technology that will usher in a new era in science. All from microorganisms from that for the last few millions of years, you could run into in your salt shaker. There are nearly one trillion species of microorganisms on this planet, and we know less than 1% of them. From that 1%, we've gotten technologies that have improved our foods and beverages, that have given us life-saving technology, and that have given us technology that allows us to play God with our own species, all from microorganisms that live in and around us, microorganisms that have lived in and around us our whole lives, microorganisms that have lived on this planet for millions of years before we ever existed. Just imagine what future technology awaits in the microorganisms around us. Imagine what discoveries await in the microorganisms you are breathing in right now. Thank you.